This video will discuss Hess's law in thermodynamics. So in previous videos we have defined enthalpy as an extensive state function. So being a state function it doesn't matter how you prepare a state or what path you took to get there. It only matters what the state is for what the value of a state function is. So enthalpy to being a state function for reactions it doesn't matter what path you take to complete the reaction, it only matters what the final and initial states are for what our enthalpy of reaction is. So for example, if we have a process which occurs through two sequences, so we have delta H from one to two, so we have some state one to state two, is enthalpy of state two minus enthalpy of state one, so delta H being a state function just depends on those initial and final conditions. Going from 2 to 3, that is the enthalpy of 3 minus the enthalpy of state 2. Nothing, nothing confusing there. So the enthalpy of going from state 1 to state 3 is the enthalpy of state 3 minus the enthalpy of state 1. But it's the same whether we went directly from 1 to 3 or whether we go from 1 to 2 and then 2 to 3. So if we add up the enthalpy from 1 to 2 to 2 to 3, we have H2 minus H1 plus H3 minus H2. So we'll notice that the two H2s cancel there and you get the same result as if we had gone from one to three. So the enthalpy, the enthalpy change from one to three is the same as going from one to two and then from two to three. So we can extend this in general for the enthalpy of going from some state one to state N is the sum of the enthalpy change that occurs during all the processes that it takes us to, to go from 1 to n. So this is the kind of basis of Hess's law which we use for getting enthalpy of reaction for various reaction, chemical reactions. So the enthalpy of reaction for some total reaction is equal to the enthalpy of reaction for any set of reactions which sums up in stoichiometry to that total reaction. So we'll look at our example here of what this means. So if we want the enthalpy of reaction for H2 gas plus O2 gas gives us hydrogen peroxide liquid, we can say, well, what's the enthalpy of H2 plus 1 half O2 going to H2O? And what's the enthalpy of H2O plus 1 half O2 going to H2O2? So this first reaction has a standard molar enthalpy of reaction of minus 285.8 kilojoules per mole. The second reaction has a standard molar enthalpy of reaction of 98.0 kilojoules per mole. So these two reactions, if we sum them up, add up to this net reaction down here. So their standard molar enthalpies of reaction are equal to the sum of these individual standard molar enthalpies of reaction. So the net uh, standard molar enthalpy of reaction is minus 187.8 kilojoules per mole. So note under this that it is also going to be true with enthalpy being a state function that the enthalpy going from 1 to 2 is equal to the negative of the enthalpy change going from 2 to 1 because those two processes have to add up to 0 because in the end we started and finished at 1. So this also implies that the enthalpy change of a forward reaction is equal to the negative enthalpy change of a reverse reaction. So we'll also use that in future videos for calculating the enthalpy of some complex process.